Hi guys! Welcome to my channel and today, uh, tuturuan ko kayo paano mag-make up ang mga babaeng bilugan ng mukha. Usually, sinisimulan ko siya sa paghihilamos ng malamig na tubig. Yes, I wanna feel my face refresh pag malamig na tubig yung ginagamit ko. So, before I put makeup, I really wash my face um, with uh, cold water. Tapos, it's either safeguard or bioderm. And, thankfully, hindi naman sensitive yung skin ko. So, kahit anong sabon ang gamitin ko, hindi ako um, nakakapimpos or may nangyayari sa balat ko. And, um, gagamit tayo ng moisturizer. Um, ito yung madalas kong ginagamit and um, clinic wala na siya masyadong laman clinic moisture moisture surge hydrating supercharge concentrate ang una nating i-apply ay foundation um i usually use a uh, dermacol um, maganda siya, full coverage. So, hindi ko na kailangan magpatong-patong pa ng foundation. Cover na ang lahat. Even your pimples or even your dark spot, um, it can cover. Kahit konting-konti lang, um, napaka-strong na niya yung sponge. Pinabasa ko muna siya dahil para mas um, smooth siyang gamitin. Kasi basa na rin naman ang ang mukha natin with the foundation. Para kung baga mas madulas. <laughs> Konting-konti lang yung nilagay ko, pero ang kapal niya. <laughs> So, sinusuklay ko lang muna siya. Kinugupit ko yung extra. Para pantay siya. So, I am one of the lucky people na makapalang kilay. inaahit yung mga nasa taas kasi para baka siyang natural. Eh, natural naman talaga. Ayan, next. Tapos na tayo sa tila. Maglalagay na tayo ng pang contour. So, I use this um, from Maybelline, I guess. Yeah, from Maybelline. Super, super easy niya. Pang contour ng bilugan yung muka. So, what I do is I just um, contour my face below, below the cheekbone. And then, ayan. Ka 
kasunod is yung jawline nyo. Usually, nakikita ko sa ibang makeup tutorial is below the jawline. Eh, medyo um, makapal ang aking, you know, panga. So, I just use it above the jawline na lang. So, para maiba tayo. Let's let's start blending, okay? I'll sa mga maliliit na ilong. <laughs> I use my sponge for everything. So, ayan. And so, I put a little touch of um, foundation. Put little. Then put it in the middle. So now, uh, pupunta tayo ngayon sa blush on. Uh, dahil nag-contour tayo ng ating um, below the cheekbone, uh, gagamit tayo ng this one is para siyang nude color. You can see it guys. This is from Clinique and they have this palette for cheek contouring palette. So, uh, I usually use it as a blush. So now, we're gonna apply it doon sa um, ating cheekbone. Um, it has three color, pero ginagamit ko yung dalawang light color doon sa tabi. Medyo hindi nyo siya napapansin, pero later makikita nyo na andyan siya. <laughs> So, you see, yung makeup parang natural lang. Yeah. And this is the nude color. Tapos, pinapatungan ko siya ng um, another blush. And this one is from Clinique as well. Um, yung medyo pink. Kasi gusto ko naman yung magmukha ako. Alam mo na, pa-virgin. So, foundation from Maybelline. So, hanap kayo. Stick siya. And it's really good. I really like it. So, now, uh, pupunta tayo sa eyeshadow. Sa eyeshadow, we have to use um, two type of brush in Ardalire. Ardalire. I usually use uh, use. I usually use um my delire. Of course, not everyone has has a, like brush for eyeshadow. And of course, before nung nung nasa Philippines pa lang ako, hindi ko afford na bumili ng mga ganitong expensive na mga brush or like iba-ibang brush para sa iba't ibang set ng makeup. So, most of the time I use my hands to put makeup on my face. So, you know, like, but this time, we're gonna use brush and use my daliri too, okay? 
gonna choose this time very light color and matte pa rin siya. This is from Sephora and um, we need two color. One is like like maybe one color brighter than your skin and then maybe this one hindi nyo makita is one color darker than your skin piliin natin this time is yung dark color so unahin natin ilalagyan natin yung um, tawag dito yung buto sa we call it crease here crease in US so dito yung buto dito sa may um, baba ng kilay nyo so yun, doon tayo magsisimula when we're putting the eyeshadow. So yan. And then, you get some from and then tap. Para hindi siya masyadong makapal. So, I guess, a little lagpas. So, and then, next, um, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumamit ng eyeshadow gamit ng daliri. We're gonna do it in another. So, we're gonna rub it with our ihinliliit. Akong cute ng kamay ko. And then, hipuin nyo yung buto nyo sa baba ng kilay. And then, go in and out, in and out. Trip ko pa nga maggumamit ng, ng daliri kasi natatansya mo yung Natatansya mo yung paglalagay ng kulay. We have to leave that gap dun sa um, below our kilay to emphasize our kilay. And next is the light one. Just feel your eyeball and dun yung siya ilalagay. And then, to emphasize our key line, put some under it. Yeah. We're gonna do the same thing on the other, um, on the other eye. So, dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. Ayan, tapos na tayo sa eyeshadow. So, next is maglalagay tayo ng mascara. I have MAC. Mascara from MAC. And okay, we have um, two mascara. This one is for volume. So, if you wanna like, you know, look makapal ang key, ang key like, makapal ang um, pilik mata, then use the, the one for volume. And then this one is just um, for natural. So we we'll use um, this type of um, lashes curler. I think this one is from Ulta. I usually use um, this uh, mascara to look natural. And then the last part is lipstick. 
I like nude, nude, nude. Nude color, nude color. So I choose this one from Ulta. Just to look natural. So I am. I don't know, guys, if you can see the difference. I'm gonna do a little touch up. So. I'm gonna use this one from Chanel. This is just a face powder. So, I'm gonna use it to make some part even. Like this one, emphasize the So, ayan guys, um, this is the finished product and this is how to do makeup for a round face. It's not perfect, um, I just do it because I just want to share with you guys how I make my face look slimmer and I'm not a professional so I'm just sharing with you guys um, how I do it and it's up to you if you will follow it but um the most important thing of this tutorial is your contouring because ito yung nakakapagpa shape ng mukha mo like in a slimmer way hindi naman cake face ang mukha ko so i guess i did a really nice job <laughs> 